Meteorite at the same time. Did you see anybody? No, but a car just left. Yeah, I saw it. The neometer reacted to it. That's where it's gone, all right. Any transportation around here? I saw a car in a shed beside the building. Okay, let's go. Isn't that Captain West in the car that we left at our hideout? Yeah, and he's coming from the direction of the hideout. Following. Maybe he's got Sarkis' gadget. Phone your office and tell Daly to bring the men. with him, hadn't we better get it? He didn't. If he had that thing in the car, he'd have blown the train clear off the tracks. We'll look the wreck over anyway and make sure that Captain West is really dead. What's that coming? It's a G-man. They're out of here. I'll pull up out of sight. when the train struck. Any of you men see this happen? He turns straight across the track. Where is he? Was he killed? We don't know. We just got here. He isn't in that car. Bob? Let me take a look at him. What are you trying to do, young man? Break your fool neck? Take it easy. This is Captain West of Military Intelligence. 
That's Mallory with him. It's my own fault. Those crooks are right on my tail. I thought I could get away by putting the train between them. Oh, that's fine, sir. If you'll sign your name there. I'll send in my report. That'll clear you and your crew of any blame. Thank you, sir. I sure appreciate it. Back to the hideout and find out how Mallory escaped. Well, what's next, Bob? To find Zorka's meteorite. Come back to my place and let me look you over before you make any plans. Zarka's mystery box. The chief's gonna break somebody for this. The Mallory couldn't have opened that door no matter what he did to Al. You stand guard outside. We gotta clean things out of here. That newspaper woman is coming. Shall I grab her? No. Let her come in. Get out of sight, both of you. Once, you're on a spot. We got away with Dr. Zarka's mystery box. Where is it now? <laughs> so you've lost it again. I figured you'd bungle the job. Up fast or somebody's going to get hurt. All right. I've been after that box of Zorka's from the moment he was found dead. I'd have had it and got a price for it by now if you'd left me alone. Wait a minute. How do you figure in on this thing? I thought you were supposed to be a reporter. Of course I'm a reporter. How else do you think I fastened myself to Captain West? I have everything all set, and you move in and upset the apple cart. Sit down. Maybe we'd better talk this thing over. There's no mistake about it. I was alone in that laboratory with the guard. He collapsed, and while I was trying to see what had happened to him, the meteorite disappeared. What do you mean, disappeared? It was gone. And the door, which had been locked on the outside, was open. I guess I'd better run over and look that place over. I'll see you at Zucker's later. Have you any idea how the meteorite was removed, Doctor? None that'll hold water. It was physically impossible for anyone to enter that room without my seeing him. Beg your pardon, sir. But you know Dr. Zilka was a very evil man. So it might persist even after the death of the body and return to continue its, uh, shall we say, uh, perfidious work. Ghosts don't carry heavy boxes around, Perkins. Say, hey, suppose Zorka isn't dead. But if he were alive, he would be seen and... Not necessarily. One thing Zorka hoped to do was to perfect what he called a, a visualizer. Oh, that's impossible. 
In the scientific world, nothing is impossible. Just as there are sound waves pitched too high or too low for the human ear, so there are light waves too intense for the human eye that might be directed to envelop a human body and make it invisible. I've got it, Monk! I took it right from under their noses! No one can stand in my way. Neither Mallory's men nor Rankin's spies. Now that you have it again, we'd both better get out of here. The G-men are guarding the place. If they find this secret room... If they do, I have means of dealing with them. Here. This little device contains an invisible gas. Did you get the plan they asked you for? Yes, sir. This is the first step. It doesn't seem to be doing anything to the plant. And the second step is my Z-ray. Any living thing impregnated with this invisible gas dies on the Z-ray. You mean that human beings? Oh, a man first would go into deep coma. Then, that was top one or two men, but more would keep coming. You seem to forget our iron man. Huh. Suppose you were my enemy, monk. What would you do now? My enemies will seek me here? Well, <laughs> let them come. I'll put the proposition up to the chief. If he wants to throw in with you, we'll let you know. I'm not asking for help. I'm just trying to show you how stupid you've been. Next time I do business with your chief or not at all, we're all after the same thing. I can show him how to get it. And where does he live? You'd like to know, wouldn't you? The chief wants to talk to you. He knows where to find you. We're leaving now. If you try to follow us... Best leg man, er, uh, girl on the staff. Who's in there? Nobody. I was just... Get back inside. I want to talk to you. What is this, a pinch? Stand where you are. What's in there? I don't know. Better look. What are you doing here? Trying to get a story. 
even Captain West won't tell me what's going on, so I decided to work alone. Alone, huh? What about those three masked men that just ran out of here? So you saw them, too. That's the same outfit that held us up on the road the other day. I trailed them in here. Ah, save it for Captain West. He likes fairy stories. I don't have time to listen. Go on, young lady. Now, Perkins. No, that won't do it. I'll have to try something else. What do you hope to accomplish? Some sort of ray that will counteract or neutralize a divisualizer. If Zork is alive and has such a device, I'll find something that will make it useless. Sure to have a meteorite. But if the meteorite is hidden there, this neometer is sure to locate it. I think there's some hidden room in this place we haven't discovered. I'm gonna make another search of it right now. Say, if uh, Jim comes back to the office, tell him to meet you there, will you, Doctor? Yeah. to receive him. We'd better get out of here, Doctor. You can't keep this place hidden forever. Sooner or later, they'll move in on us. Why? All right. Well, one of these days, we'll be trapped here. I'm going to inspect the house. When Lieutenant Daly arrives, send him in. Keep everyone else out. Yes, sir. Someone's coming, Doctor. West inside the house. All right, keep this woman here. Say, wait a minute. I've got to get in there. I've got to write Keep her here. here if you have to tie her.
Captain. 